tell you all what it means to be a new greatness. When you are a new greatness, there's going to be a lot of nervousness. There's going to be a lot of lack of confidence. You are going to come to work on some days and you will feel like, what are you even doing here? You are going to come to work some days and you are going to feel like you don't fit here. You are going to come to work some days and you are going to see those experienced nurses just going about their day very confidently, like, I know what I'm doing. And you are just talking to yourself or you're just asking yourself or you're like okay what am i even doing here standing next to nurses who are very very experienced hi guys and welcome to my channel today's video is going to be unscripted today's video i'm going to be speaking as the information comes up i just got off from work and i decided to stop at whole foods because i have some groceries that i needed to pick up from the store and now heading to honda that aside i just got off work every time you guys see me in my scrubs just know that this is not a video that i just wore my scrubs just to make a video for you all know that i actually just got off work and i just decided to pass on an information to my audience now i know you guys are loving so many of the videos that i'm throwing out there especially the videos that i speak about the equipments that i use on my step down icu unit so many people have said they love the videos i have really been slagging on making videos on what my shift looks like on my step down icu unit just because i feel like when i make those videos i am so conscious of what i have to do not that i fake what i do but it makes me extra conscious because hey i have to be mindful of not breaking bounds with hipaa violation i have to be mindful of you know kind of um, concealing um, some sensitive information and so it kind of makes me to be a little bit nervous a little bit very super conscious of what i show to you guys it's just because hey my license is also on the chopping block if I should reveal something that I'm not supposed to be revealing which is the reason why most of the videos I've been making are videos that I have been recording in my car because I feel like why not there's no information that is so sensitive that can put me into trouble let's move on to what I am here to say today's video i want to talk to new grad nurses new grad nurses come closer even those who are still in nursing school i really really want to speak to you all because i feel like i'm still a new nurse granted i am three years moving on to four years but i feel like i am still a new nurse i feel like i'm that nurse who is constantly learning every day i always tell myself that hey if i don't know something i remind myself that i am new and i move forward to those who are very experienced and i ask all my questions to them and that is how i become the confident nurse that i am today let me tell you all what it means to be a new greatness when you are a new greatness there's going to be a lot of nervousness there's going to be a lot of lack of confidence you are going to come to work on some days and you will feel like what are you even doing here you are going to come to work some days and you are going to feel like you don't fit here you are going to come to work some days and you are going to see those experienced nurses just going about their day very confidently like i know what i'm doing and you are just talking to yourself or you're just asking yourself or you're like okay what am i even doing here standing next to nurses who are very very experienced i want you new nurses to know that every nurse has been in the position where you are i want you to tell yourself that this is one of those stages that you have to go through in order to become that experienced and seasoned nurse that you see out there there have been so many times that we experience nurses. Sometimes I like to call myself experienced nurse. Sometimes I like to call myself a new grad nurse. But to all those seasoned nurses that you see out there, they have had their own fair share of making mistakes. They have had their own fair share of asking questions. They have had their own fair share of feeling less confident. They have had their own fair share of learning things as they go. I always say this to new grad nurses that there is no way everybody learns what they learned in their first year you are going to become that seasoned nurse with time i don't care even if you were the best student in your class when you were in nursing school everything that you are going to learn to be able to call yourself a seasoned nurse will come with time 
time is going to be your best friend when it comes to being an experienced and confident nurse in this profession new nurses i always say this always ask a lot of questions and if it makes you feel better when you move on to experienced nurses when you move on to doctors when you move on to the physical therapies the occupational therapies when you move on to the speech um therapies when you move on to the dialysis nurse when you move on to the ekg tech ask them questions tell them hey i am a new nurse and i'm asking these questions because i want to learn or you can tell them hey i had a patient who had this kind of situation and now that you are here i feel like you are the more experienced person in this scenario or in this sector who can better explain this situation to me so i can learn something so that when next i have a patient who has this kind of scenario i can be able to confidently navigate the situation without questioning my actions always ask nurses there are some doctors who are very very patient when it comes to teaching nurses i remember there was a doctor when i was just like maybe six months in and this doctor will always explain things to me when i am doing something he will say hey this is how you do it or if i am doing something and i don't understand why i am doing it or i don't understand why this should be done or this is necessary for the patient i will ask this particular doctor and the doctor was always Always patient to explain things to me I know that there are some doctors who will feel arrogant I know that there are some doctors who will make new grad nurses to feel like what are you even doing here but that is not to say that if you have a question and if you want to learn something you cannot ask the doctor I always say better ask and then know that this is how this doctor reacts to these kind of um, questions or to these kind of situations as opposed to just sitting and not even asking in the first place always ask your questions always always ask your questions this is one thing also I always say always ask questions to prevent um, a mistake that can cause the life of a patient as opposed to thinking that you know what you are doing and then make a mistake that can cause the life of that patient and worse your license we all know what it took for us to go through nursing school all the sleepless nights the assignments you know the the exams and even taking the almighty anklet it wasn't something that was you know easy it's not something that anyone is going to smile with to go and repeat or take all over just because they made a silly mistake that cost them their license and so i always insist sometimes even when um i have to you know precept nursing students I always move ahead to ask them is there any questions you have if there's anything that you feel like you want to understand why I am doing the way I am doing it always feel free to ask because I always tell myself that I know what they are feeling because I have been in that situation I remember when I used to do precepting uh, when I was still in nursing school I always had so many questions like will I ever be able to do a 12 hour shift will I ever be able to give an IV will I ever be able to start an ivy will i ever be able to start um, a tube feeding will i ever be able to insert an ng tube but i have learned as time went on that certain things the knowledge base the skills how to communicate with patients how to communicate with family and especially how to navigate your emotions when maybe a patient passes on and how to better carry yourself in certain scenarios all these things will come with time as a new grad nurse whenever you are going to work wake up get yourself ready for work when you get to the floor get your patient look at the medications i always insist that you come very early to work because when you come early to work it's going to give you ample time to look through your patients to look at what their diagnosis is it's going to give you ample time to look at what their medications are and if for any reason you don't know what a medication is needed for or what that medication is it's the um, best time for you to go ahead and google it know what the medication is if it's a blood pressure medication, if it's a diuretics, if it's a blood thinner and they say the patient is a dialysis patient or the patient is scheduled for a procedure, always make sure to read the notes, the doctors know to know if they want the blood thinners held, if they want um, blood pressure medications held, especially for patients 
medical uh, um, hypotensive during dialysis always come in early so that you can read your notes and get ahead of the game it's going to give you so much confidence when you know um, what you are doing it's going to give you so much confidence when you know what to anticipate as your shift progresses on if you just come late to work and then you get your shift report you start passing your medications you don't have time to look up what the medications are what are the contraindications or what the, the medications can do in terms of like blood pressure some other things to monitor for the patient it's going to throw you off it's going to you know spring up some surprises that might throw you off balance and before you know it you might find yourself correcting errors which if you had you know prepared yourself earlier on you would have avoided all these situations so new grad nurses always make sure you're coming to work very early always make sure that you are asking questions always make sure I always say this always make sure that when you see an experienced nurse going to do something if it is something you have never done make sure you follow that nurse and watch how the nurse is doing it ask the nurse questions when the nurse is doing those things ask the nurse if they are comfortable with you doing that skill while they watch you and correct you ask the nurse what are some mistakes or common things that can come up while performing that procedure or why that patient has that certain thing let's say maybe um in certain foley you want to watch out that it's a sterile procedure else the patient can have uh, infection from that um foley insertion if it's an iv always make sure that you are asking the nurse okay what are this what are some certain things for me to watch out for maybe infiltration maybe redness pain temperature soreness at the um, IV insertion side always ask questions I always insist like new grad nurses always ask questions always ask questions I'm one of those nurses that when I see um, nursing students when I see nurses who are precepting maybe they are still in school or they just graduated and they are preparing to write their NCLEX or they just finished their or they just passed the NCLEX and they are on preceptorship I love to always go to them and be like hey what are your challenges do you have any questions if you feel like there's something that you really want to know or if something that you're really doubting come up to me ask me the questions and we can figure it out together I always encourage nurses especially new nurses to come to me and ask me questions and I don't um, claim to know everything if there is something that I don't know because hey I just told you guys that I'm three four years in I will go back and google it or I will go back and ask another experienced nurse and then come explain to the new grad nurse or I will pull an experienced nurse come and explain it to us both so that we can learn I always do this so that these new grad nurses will see that even though I am three four years in the game there are still some things that I don't know and I will know as the time goes on so new grad nurses this is a platform for you guys to ask me as many questions as you have if there's something that you want me to show you guys that happens on my step down unit or if there's something you want me to explain as to my journey as a new nurse right up to where I am ask them in the comment section below and be very sure that I'm going to respond to you all thank you all so much for joining my channel thank you all for the encouragement the love the support please keep continue liking sharing and subscribing and from me to you i'll see you guys in my next one and this is me running over to honda to go fix my car and get this issue off of my dashboard and i'll see you guys in my next one be safe guys out there take care